You do run a greater risk, I guess, when you go underground. Just you are going out of your environment. It's really like diving into the sea. You're going out of your environment. But still, uh, I don't think it's any worse. And I think I'm taking more chance coming to work in the morning down the highway than I am right here in the, in the Ross Mine. <laughs> steady employment. There's no layoff in the, in the gold mine. This mine here, uh, I don't remember making any layoffs. People that are employed uh, remain employed. I mean, you just can't replace it. Once it's taken out of the ground, you just can't replace it. It's not similar, say, to uh, uh, the lumber in the forestry industry where you can just plant no, new trees and in a few years you have uh, another forest growing. But the gold mines or uh, any type of uh, mining for that matter, once it's out of the ground, uh, it's gone forever. I don't know what the future is. It uh, doesn't look very good right now, but uh, if we could just, uh, if they just revalue that gold, I think it, it's time that there's something, something done about it. I don't know, that's easy for me to say. I mean, it sounds easy, but uh, I don't know. The gold's been this price since, what was it, 1934? And uh, the price of steel and a pound of coffee, they've changed a lot since then, that's for sure. It's fantastic, the increases. Now, uh, just to give you an example, uh, I'm looking for a piece for one of our machinery, uh, our, our compressor up there. Uh, 1958, we paid about $370 for it. The price today for that same piece is $1,800. Well, that's fantastic. The government, I think, you should do more. Uh, you've uh, read in the paper, heard in the paper, where they've... Uh, they can give uh, foreign countries X number of million dollars or, to help them, which is a good thing. The same thing could be applied in, in this particular industry. Pour, pour a little money into it and keep the mines going. Yeah, I, I, I don't want the mine to close down because I want it. I have, a, I live here in Old Iron and I have a home and I, I want to work here and I, I, I wouldn't want to see the mine close down.
She was born on September 2nd, 1890. She moved to Altar around 1938 and has been residing here since. She has been an active member in the curling club for the past 32 years and has always participated in the bowling league whenever there was one. Being Catholic, she attends church every Sunday. In spite of her age, she continues as manager of a store in the village. Need I go on? The person I am referring to is known to all as Maud Leeson. <clears throat> in appreciation for her sincere and devoted ef effort, the bowling members have a special surprise in store for her tonight. Oh, is that ever wonderful? Isn't that pretty? Well, that's pretty, really pretty. I want to thanks very, very much, and I'm very, very surprised to be so honored by all member, everyone in the community. Well, I hear the train a-coming when it's rolling around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know where. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging. Any social event, I'm better. Oh, but that train when I keeps the road step out a little bit on your dancing and shoes, which you call, could call it. The people seem to be living all together. Yeah, I mean, uh, we all know each other. And maybe there's a party somewhere where everybody uh, goes, you know, and uh, we're having a good time, you know. Mostly everybody speak English and French. Well, uh, the, some English people don't speak French, you know, but mostly all French people speak English. So there's no problem here for that. depending on this mind, you know, mostly on this mind to live on. And people are living here, well, it's mostly uh, miners, eh? Uh, if the government cut their mining subsidy, I wouldn't be surprised if this mine closed. All of us are, are kind of over the hill, you know, and uh, we just don't uh, pick up a job as easy. It's easy to say maybe I can get a job someplace else, but I, I've lived around here 50 years, and uh, you don't just put the latch on the door and take off. Uh, I don't want to start paying for another home again, you know. It's, it's sad, just as I said, it's uh, not nice at all. To go and get another job at 57 years old in a mine, I just don't know what they'd do, you know. It's not easy. Well, if nothing else opens up, if the mine does die, I think the town will die with it. I don't know. It might become a ghost town, but I doubt it.
pour vous et pour la multitude en rémission des péchés. Vous ferez cela en mémoire de moi. sins but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. he's getting anywhere. It's just the same old job, the same everything, nothing changes. And, you know, when you're doing that for 23, 25, 27 years, you know, it must get boring. I wouldn't want to go through it. Are you going to stick in the town where there's eight, nine families left? The stores, there won't be any stores, and you'll end up having to travel to Timmins or something like that. Your groceries anyway might not move there and stay there. same school and yet in all their activities they're together they play hockey together eh, and ball and you see there's not so many of them that they can afford to each have go their separate ways in here to have a ball team or a hockey team they have to join up but I know my boys had more friends in the French speaking boys than they did in the English speaking boys in a smaller place you have more cooperation they are less tended to be uh, independent in a city or a bigger center, they tend to uh, try, you know, to show off or they think they're really important. While in a smaller town or village, we're so close together that uh, we can do better work.
the early days, we had a lot of work to do, eh? When we didn't have the machinery that we have now, eh? It's a case that, uh, well, I was on mechanics, but uh, on the ground, well, they had to more or less uh, do a lot of uh, hand work, eh? Like uh, mucking, for example, eh? That was all done by hand, eh? And pushing cars, there was no motor at all. They had to push their car to the dump hole by hand. And for a long time, they had to push it right to the to the cage and load the car on the cage and bring it up to surface. My brother got killed here. He was working in the race. And for some reason, the, him and his partner, they put up the staging and uh, his partner came off of the staging and uh, my brother went down and just two minutes after, the staging fell. Eh? And he fell down 125 feet down the race. performance and safety is the first uh, criteria sometimes a new man uh, being a little too eager uh, will get himself uh, into a little difficulty Henry Biber he was an old fellow he's an old miner you know he'd been here when the first started well he fell down the shaft when they picked him up in pieces uh, an accident occurs at uh, it happens, but uh, there's, there's a cause behind it, drawing a parallel, but say, between mining and some other industry. Uh, when a man gets hurt underground uh, in the mine uh, through a fall of loose or some other thing, uh, it's rather a serious injury. But generally speaking, uh, uh, mining is safe. I never was scared for that because I figure when our time comes, we're all marked in this world. And when our time comes to go, we have to go, no matter where we are. Say to six to five. It's, it's too long, and besides that, the mine won't last that long. As if you work for uh, hydro or Department of Highways, uh, railroad, whether you have a lifetime job.
has been good for us and uh, we've made uh, lots of good friends. We've seen some families growing up here. Either the French people and the English people have done extraordinarily well in Altar. I imagine the population being so small and so few families in town. Well, we have to get along together. We've got some very good friends in uh, the English, uh, the English people, and uh, it was uh, after the Depression years that we were here. And you know, everybody had so little that we had to help each other. And uh, really, it was an occasion to have a real good friendship between the two kind of people. Uh, I don't think the community will die. Uh, these men have been here too long, and uh, uh, the majority, as I say, have worked in the mine for a considerable number of years, and uh, the roots are pretty deep in here. And uh, I, I don't think a mine should be allowed to die. But I know the governor is quite concerned with it because it's happened all over the country. And it has that effect that the people who want to move them away, they have to spend millions of dollars to retrain them. And they're not happy, they're not contented. Because a person gets his roots, as I said, into a community for uh, 10, 15, 25 years, he just doesn't like to be lifted out and moved away. Oh, 